The Lord and ruler will be coming soon, and his name will be called Emmanuel, because he will be God with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may, when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion, and sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you, as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp, with the ten-stringed lyre chant his praises. Sing to him a new song, pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield, for in him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, in our gospel today, we see John's first proclamation of our Lord, uh, even before he is born, leaping for joy in the womb of his mother Elizabeth at the presence of Jesus Christ. Uh, and we have to ask ourselves, have we become attuned to the presence of Jesus Christ in our lives? Are we present to, to his great glory? Are we present to the gifts that he wants to give us? Uh, we need to follow the example of John in uh, making ourselves uh, more readily able to be aware of Christ's presence. And ultimately that's what Advent is about, preparing ourselves for Christ 
uh, but not just preparing ourselves and our souls. Certainly that is uh, a very, very important thing, uh, turning away from sin and turning closer uh, to the Lord's grace, but also in becoming aware of it and being able to, to sense it, to be able to sense when the Lord is coming into our presence and when he wants to bless us, just as he blesses the Virgin Mary and her cousin uh, and his cousin in the gospel today. Right, we look at the last line of this gospel. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Right, are we trusting in that? Ultimately, if we come to be aware of Christ's presence, if we continue growing closer and closer to him, right, that last line of the gospel will apply to us also. We will be blessed because we believe that Jesus Christ truly is who he says he is. And we believe that he truly will uh, fulfill in us what he says he will fulfill. God is with us, therefore, like Mary ever virgin, let us pray with faith and confidence, opening wide our hearts to all human needs. That the church may ever provide pastoral care for people on different pilgrimages of faith, let us pray to the Lord. That Christmas may bring a lasting peace among nations, especially those involved in conflict, let us pray to the Lord. That people busily preparing for Christmas may be still and find God who is with us, let us pray to the Lord. That amidst the feasting and exchange of gifts, we will not forget the poor, let us pray to the Lord. That the prayers of Our Lady and St. Joseph may help the faithful departed. We pray especially for Paul Frederick, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Lord God, in the power of your love, through our prayers for others, remove any obstacle preventing us from going to meet Jesus, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. 
It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Blessed are you who have believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled.
Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people, so that being subject to your glorious majesty and dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.